In the previous lecture, we discussed a concept known as intensity. So we define what the intensity of an electromagnetic wave is. So remember, just like any other wave, electromagnetic waves are capable of carrying energy over great distances when they propagate through space. Now we define the intensity of an electromagnetic wave as the average power per area that is transported by an electromagnetic wave. So let's look at the following example that will deal with intensity of electromagnetic waves. So the sun generates sunlight which is simply electromagnetic radiation and this sunlight travels from the sun to the earth. Now, solar panels are devices that can harvest some of the energy stored inside sunlight. Suppose that a certain solar panel can transform 15% of the energy inside sunlight into electrical energy that can be used to power devices. So we want to find the area of the solar panel that is required to power two devices. In part A, a calculator that requires a power of 0.07 watts and in part B, a car that requires 30 horsepower to drive with a constant velocity, let's say, on a highway. Now, let's make the following assumption about sunlight. So assume that sunlight, the electromagnetic radiation produced by the sun, has an intensity of 1200 watts per meter squared. So let's begin with part A. So in the previous lecture we said that the intensity is equal to the average power divided by the area. So since we're looking for the area, let's take this equation, rearrange it, and solve for the area. So the area is equal to the power Power divided by the intensity. So this power is the power required by our device, by the calculator, and this is equal to 0 0.070 watts. Now this intensity is not the intensity of the sunlight. This intensity is the intensity that is captured by the solar panel. So it's 15% of this quantity. So this intensity is equal to 1200 watts per meter squared multiplied by 0.15. So this divided by this gives us a value of about 3.9 times 10 to the negative 4 meters squared or equivalently 3.9 centimeters squared. So notice that this area is small enough so that we can actually fit a solar panel onto a calculator and that's exactly why most calculators have a solar panel found on that calculator. So. Now let's move on to part B. Let's actually find what the area required is to power a car that requires 30 horsepower to drive with a constant velocity. And let's determine if this type of solar panel can be placed onto, let's say, the rooftop of our car. So once again, we have to apply this formula, but before we apply the formula, we have to convert from horsepower to watts. Recall that inside one horsepower, there exists 746 watts of power. So to convert from horsepower to watts, we take 30 horsepower and multiply it by 746 watts because there exists this quantity of watts inside one horsepower. So the horsepowers cancel and we're left with 22,380 watts. 
So now we take this equation, the area is equal to the power required by the car, so this quantity divided by the intensity captured by the solar panel, so 15% or 0.15 multiplied by 1200 watts per meter squared, and that gives us about 124 meters squared. So we see that this area is very large. In fact, this area is so large that it would be impossible to place a solar panel this size on top of a car.